Welcome to Moose on the Loose, my name's David. On this episode, I have the most ridiculous story coming from the bonehead liberal government, Justin Trudeau's government. They spent $834,000 on killing deer on Vancouver Island. You are introducing me. True, yeah, exactly. Merry Christmas, Canada. And how do they do this? This story gets ridiculous. So what they did is there's this project, it's a multi-year, $6 million project to cull some fallow deer off of Sydney Island, just off the coast of uh, Vancouver Island. It's kind of near Victoria area. And these are deer that were originally introduced for hunting a while ago, and they've, they started to become invasive. So what did the Liberal government decide to do? Well, hire a couple of hunters, or even just ask if hunters want to go over there and hunt the deer for free, no problems, here's your permits, right? No. They hired a helicopter with a sniper and they started flying around the island and sniping, <laughs> you can't make this up, sniping deer. They killed 84 deer, $834,000. It's like $10,000 a deer, $10,000 per kill. You can't make this stuff up. And it turns out, uh-oh, they killed blacktail deer, ones that are native to Vancouver Island. That wasn't in the plan, was it, guys? The whole point of this was to get rid of the fallow deer, the invasive ones, and they end up killing a bunch of the native ones. <laughs> and they wasted so much of our money doing it. I swear, Justin Trudeau, Stephen Gilbo, like the eco-green kings with their, their crowns on, drinking their you know wheatgrass shots and riding around on unicorns, and meanwhile, they're like, yeah, just go kill a bunch of those deer for an exorbitant amount of money. So dumb. Now, let's just do a quick comparison here. My previous video, I went and showed you guys 30 tiny house uh, homeless sh shelters that are being built here in Port Alberni, and they spent $745,000 to build 30 of these things. I was looking at the numbers, people were leaving comments, and I was thinking the same thing, couldn't you just buy a Costco shed for much cheaper? And it turns out you can, $3,000 would get you a much bigger shed, you could insulate it, buy a cot, and even at $5,000 you would have something much cheaper than, than the cost that they're building those things for, which was like $25,000 a piece. Just think of all the bloated bureaucracy, because that's what this is when you're spending $834,000 on killing 84 deer. It's bloated bureaucracy, people padding their pockets and just wasting money. If the government had bought those sheds for that homeless camp, they could have had 150 uh, homeless shelter sheds for the same price. They could have insulated it too, put insulation in there. They have windows, they have doors and all that stuff. But then if you think of the, the culling of these deer, if they had not wasted that money and just said, hey, any hunters or put it, what they should do is put it first to First Nations. Hey, do you guys want to uh, go, you know, hunt these deer? That is traditional First Nations land. And if they don't want to, then they can get to the hunters to go do it. They can even hire a boat for the hunters. And here, we'll take you back and forth. You can hunt the deer, bring, you know, bring the meat out, etc. all that. But instead, they just fly around like, <laughs> like it's some sort of war zone with a sniper rifle. They waste our money. If they had not wasted that money, they could have ended up with 300, because it's almost the same amount, right? 834,000 versus the 745,000 for the homeless shelters. Without the bloated bureaucracy, let's compare this, which works out to be $1.5 million in this situation. Now I get it, one is a BC uh, provincial housing versus federal, it doesn't matter. The government is full of bloated bureaucracy that wastes so much money. If you combine it together, it's $1.5 million. The government got us 30 tiny shelter houses and 84 dead deer where they could have got this done for free and they would end up with 300 homeless shelters if they had gone this other path. And people say, oh, well, those, those little houses aren't going to be quite as sturdy or this or that. You know what? People sleeping on the streets right now, they don't, they don't care. They want somewhere that's warm and private and out of the elements. They're not looking for the Shangri-La with the, the fire escape lights and the motion activated door light when they come in and all this stuff. They want somewhere to get out of, the, out of the cold and it's better to help way more people than all this bloated bureaucracy and building 30 houses and then helicopter flying out, you know, just two hours down the road here with a sniper rifle sniping deer. <laughs> I swear, I swear our government is run by the biggest bonehead idiot losers. Whew. This is a bit of rant guys, I'm sorry. Sometimes I can't handle it. I can't handle what Justin Trudeau and his cronies are doing. It's absolutely blows my mind. It blows my mind. And now to top it all off, this is only the first of three sniping sessions. They're going to be going back in fall of 2024. So the first one was between December 1st 
and December 11th of 2023. They're going back in the fall of 2024 and spring of 2025 to fly around with their helicopter, burning more fossil fuels with the guy with the pew pew going <laughs> popping deer. They're going to do this two more times. You can't make this stuff up. Our, our country is just being run by the biggest boneheads, the absolute worst losers in this country. I'm sorry, I got nothing positive to say. I just, that's it. That's it. Hopefully, you guys, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.